Previously on the Better Buildings Challenge Swap. These CFLs in the hallway here, there's got to be thousands of them in this hotel. This is how we do our employee engagement. To hear the kind of pep rally um, around sustainability, it just blew, kind of blew our, all of our minds, I think, in many respects. Can America's healthiest grocery store give the leading global hospitality company another outlook on saving energy? Will Hilton's team of experts help Whole Foods Market's team think differently? One Hilton Hotel, one Whole Foods Market. Hosted by Maria Vargas from the Department of Energy. Two teams swapped. All right, well, first of all, I have to say thanks to both teams. I know you both worked really hard. We spent a couple days walking around and really appreciate all your time and effort. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I think that when we walked the roof at your place, um, we, uh, we noted that uh, that exhaust was direct exhaust. And uh, what we've done in some places, we've added a recirc to take that exhaust and then through charcoal filters, put it back into the supply side. They have several hoods coming in, usually with this cold climate that we have here in San Francisco. They could capture some of that heat and preheat the uh, air coming in. And you've done that with type one grease laden air? You've been able to yeah. recirc? Oh, yeah. that's great, fantastic. Uh, your cooling tower drives, take a look at how your VFDs are controlling. We saw them running to 100% and it was freezing outside. A lot of the VFD drive systems that we've put in, those are one year paybacks most of the time. Yep. I'm noticing the uh, auto closer here has been set back. That's not going to allow the door to close. I think for myself, uh, where I saw a big opportunity, you guys have a lot of walk-in coolers, a lot of reach-in coolers, um, and they're real well-built, they're old, they don't make them like they used to, good adage there. Uh, but it saw some gaskets and uh, some strip curtains that could really be replaced and could really cut down on cold air coming in or hot air going in and vice versa. So, what'd you guys find out on lighting? You guys were poking around lighting? These CFLs in the hallway here, there's got to be thousands of them in there. You know, depending on what area we're in, you know, we noticed some, some very old lighting, T12s, MR16s, you know, that was a very, very small chunk of what we saw. But, you know, you still do have quite a bit of compact fluorescent and linear fluorescent throughout the building. You know, obviously to retrofit an entire building this size with, with LEDs is it's going to be a pretty large expense. But my feeling and just knowing when we've done full upgrades, you know, the payback could be somewhere between you know five and seven years if you were to take a, take a look at that. So that's kind of the low hanging fruit that we noticed. Yeah, I think we both had that daylight harvesting yeah. opportunity. I mean, your yeah, store was all lit up in the front during the day and then, you know, same thing. Yeah, it's amazing to me how some of the similarities, you know, that I found between our two operations, you know, with that daylighting piece and some of the controls piece and some of the air balance piece. It was pretty, pretty interesting, you know. Two different types of operations yet, very common, similar problems. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You were able to see uh, the huddle we did with our housekeeping team. So, this week we've been talking a lot about energy efficiency. Wondering whether there's an opportunity to do, for, for you to do huddles like that each pre-shift. That's really how we get, uh, you know, the results that we're able to achieve is through activating with all of our team members around the world, and the huddles are great for that. Yeah, let me just begin by saying hats off to you guys. That team, their excitement was really contagious. You know, being there just put a smile on my face. We do small huddles, but let me tell you, I mean, they're nothing as compared to what we saw at your, uh, at your team today. What I'm curious, as the Department of Energy, is if you guys are going to take the advice that the other teams had for you, or what the next steps are going to be. Yeah, we're absolutely going to take the advice. I mean, what we've learned with this team, just in seeing their facility and having them in our facility, is really exciting. I mean, I can't wait to share the excitement that we witnessed at their housekeepers meeting with our teams at Whole Foods Market. I really appreciate everything you guys have brought to the table to, in the way of suggestions. We're not only planning to implement that at our store, we're also hoping to translate that across our company and really make the best use of this. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you guys. It's a great idea. How about you guys? Absolutely. I mean, there was some great ideas there. The shade pole motors for the walk-ins. We're always looking for lighting opportunities. 
you know, an ROIs that make sense, and if they make sense, we'll do them right away. I have been so impressed at the feedback and the advice and the suggestions that you all have given each other. I think it really demonstrates no matter how great you are at energy efficiency, there's still something you can learn. Well, it's about taking those uh, best practices that uh, the Whole Foods Markets team shared with us and sharing that uh, with the brighter scope of our hotels, right? That will allow us to meet not only our BBC goals, but also our company goals going forward. It's been a fantastic experience. And I'll tell you, we came into this being, uh, you know, real supporters of the Better Buildings Challenge. And we're really happy to be a part of this, really happy to work with the good folks at Hilton and it's something we're going to capitalize upon and take back to our daily operations. So it's really a great thing. From HVAC and air balance to lighting and employee engagement, Whole Foods and Hilton, both leaders in energy efficiency, learn there is always room for improvement. But by participating in the Better Buildings Challenge Swap, these two world-class organizations walk away with another outlook on saving energy.